Today's video topic is What causes muscle spasticity? Those with spasticity find it difficult to move, talk, or walk. Spasticity is caused by damage or interruption of the nerve impulses that control muscle movement. This can be caused by a variety of conditions like brain injury, spinal cord injury, or diseases like multiple sclerosis and amyotropic lateral sclerosis. Prolonged spasticity can lead to pressure sores, frozen joints, or the inability to function normally. If you have spasticity with an unknown cause, make sure you see your doctor. Stretching exercises can help relieve the condition, so your doctor may recommend physical therapy or massage. Prescription medications for the condition include sedatives, nerve blockers, muscle relaxants, and surgery in some cases. Symptoms that occur with muscle spasticity. Episodes of spasticity can range from mild to weakening and painful. Signs and symptoms of this condition include muscle tightness, muscle spasms, joint stiffness, back pain, exaggeration of reflexes, involuntary jerky movements, difficulty controlling the muscles used to speak, unusual posture, abnormal positioning of the fingers and wrists, difficulty moving, pain in the affected muscles and joints. Triggers. Spasticity can be triggered by a change in position. Other triggers include fatigue, clothing that's too tight, stress, extreme cold, high humidity, infection, extreme heat. What causes muscle spasticity? Muscle spasticity is mainly caused by damage to the nerve pathways that control muscle movement. This can be a symptom of several conditions and diseases such as stroke, cerebral palsy, brain injury, multiple sclerosis, spinal cord injury, and many more. How is muscle spasticity treated? Prolonged episodes of spasticity can lead to the inability to move some parts of your body, like the hips, knees, wrists, elbows, ankles, and shoulders. It can also affect your ability to walk, talk, and function normally. When should I see my doctor? Your doctor will treat you based on the level of your spasticity and also the underlying condition that you have. Speak to your doctor if you have a frozen joint, your spasticity is happening frequently and is getting more severe. You have pressure sores or red skin. It is the first time you are experiencing and you have no idea of the cause. Your level of pain is increasing. Medication for spasticity. Several medications can be used to treat spasticity. Some of them include Baclofen, which is a muscle relaxant. Diazepam, which is a sedative. Phenol which is a nerve blocker. Tizanidine, which calms spasms and relaxes tight muscles. Botulinum toxin, which can be injected directly into spastic muscles. Some of these drugs have side effects like nausea, fatigue, and confusion. Your doctor might recommend surgery for tendon release. At-home care for muscle spasticity. Your doctor will likely recommend a variety of home care treatments to ease some of the symptoms. Some of these treatments are getting plenty of sleep, avoid extremely hot or cold temperatures, wearing loose-fitting clothing, and avoiding restrictive garments or braces, stretching exercises, changing your position at least every two hours. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.